This is a video write-up for the challenge salad upgrades from HackOn2018. Challenge prompt is, sure, I could toss them all using one, just one shift, but am I gonna? And it gives us a cipher text right here. So we can go ahead and copy this and start to work with it. I will go ahead and check if it is a Caesar cipher, just as we saw in a previous challenge. We can go ahead and look through some other keys with just a simple for I in and bash bring it to all the numbers in the alphabet, go ahead and echo that into Caesar with the value that we're looking for. However, it doesn't look like that it is a Caesar cipher. I see no of the flag formats in here. So what I did moving on from this is trying to figure out what other cipher it may be. Um, since it's saying it's using not just one shift, assumingly, we can determine that it may be a Vigneer cipher. So I tried to track down some code that I've written in a previous uh, competition. You can see some of the stuff from TJ's TTF. I have videos on that if you would like to check them out. Let's go ahead and subble that and just take a look at what we have to work with. We do want the flag that we have given in ciphertext pasted in here to work with, and let's try and see what we can do, considering we should know what the first part of the flag should be. In this case, we could probably track down uh, that dark code curly braces portion and determine what it should really actually be. Let's just use the key, uh, assuming we want to work backwards, so let's just use dark, and let's take the first uh, four letters here, and let's see if we can get it to decrypt. We don't need all this code from the previous CTF, but we can take a look if we are decrypting that message with the key. Paste that. Oh, I had a fail. Substring not found. And that is because we are working with numbers, and we can actually determine, rather than removing punctuation, let's actually keep some of that stuff and the numbers. Let's just determine if we get a key error, just like that, as we'd seen, we can go ahead and append the original old character, like just use the cipher letter in that case. Or we want the compressed message number because cipher letter is not there. Now when we run this, okay, we've got a value B4DE. Um, and I thought that was kind of curious. I started that for a while. Um, and some people that I was working with on my team, uh, Again, if you want to hang out with other CTF players, hackers, and programmers, please join the Discord server. We always team up for games like this. Um, link in the description. B4DE. It looked like that 4 was out of place, but just because of the flag format. So maybe it was actually meant to be a C, in which case we have BCDE. So I'm assuming that that is potentially just the start of the alphabet, just kind of shifted, as we'd seen before. So that gives us dark, and now we could add on the rest of the alphabet if we wanted to. R S T U V. Holy goodness. <laughs> it's like, do I know the alphabet right here? <laughs> cool. We could have just imported that or used it from string, just shifted it if we wanted to, but typing it out was, was easy and fine for that. And then we'll use the rest of the message and we get, okay, I totally did mess up. What alphabet meta did I miss? Oh, I moved X and Y. My bad. All right, cool. Now we have the flag. This is rotation code and we can go ahead and save this as our get flag script. Cool. And yeah, let's go back to save what we had from the original message. So now we could submit that flag if we particularly wanted to. However, the challenge is over, so unfortunately we don't need to. But we can just mark this challenge as complete. And that's been some handy veneer cipher code. And if you want to take a look at that, please check out the TJCTF video where I go ahead and write it. And it takes some time. So Quick shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. $1 a month on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. More than $5 a month on Patreon will give you early access to everything that I release on YouTube before it goes live because I normally schedule things and record in bulk, etc., etc. Please do join our Discord server. Link in the description. Again, we always play CTFs as a team. We just like work together and it's an awesome collaborative community. CTF players, programmers, and hackers. Really cool place to hang out. I hope to see you guys on Patreon. Please, fingers crossed. Need a foot put on the table? Need to put food on the table. I'm bad at talking. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.